Alrighty, what's up people? This is Hunter Warren with a YouTube video yet again. I don't know what that was. All right, here we go. I have a few things. I have a, actually multiple things I wrote down today. So today was one of those days where I had some things happening in my head. Um, so first thing, um, during my break, my break today, I was listening to a podcast talking about like uh, men and masculinity um, and how it can be kind of toxic sometimes. Right? You've, you've probably heard that, right? Toxic masculinity. Um, and it was talking about how when you say you're fine, um, like most men always do, they're just saying, yeah, I'm fine, no problem, no, nothing to worry about here, I'm totally good, no worries, whatever, they're fine. Um, people say that, but they don't actually mean that. Like They're, they're not actually fine, um, but they say they're fine, which is a lie. Um, so when you, when you say that, when you say you're fine, but you're not actually fine, you're, you're, you're lying. That's not the, you're not telling the truth. Um, and this guy, Jason Gaddis, that I was listening to in his podcast was just talking about how um, you, you erode trust. Like you're, you're destroying any potential or already there, already, already trust um, when, you, when you say that. You know, when you're saying that you're not, um, when you're saying that you're totally okay, but you're not, you're, you're covering something up and you're, and you're, you're lying. That's, that's just the, that's the fact. Um, and so he was just talking about how important it is just to say how, just to speak the truth. You know, I had a, I had a blog and a video on that, I think, um, just speaking the actual truth, which is kind of hard and scary sometimes. Um, but that's, I think the worthwhile and, and most uh, beneficial path. Um, instead of just saying, yep, fine. Don't, don't worry about me. I'm out of here. You know, whatever. Um, so that was the first thing. Um, next thing I have is just becoming self-aware. I think that at least half the battle, if not more of the battle is just becoming, becoming aware of what's happening in your body, the way you're feeling, why you're feeling this way. Um, just allowing yourself to pause and take a second, you know, take a break, slow down and think and, and just become aware and just, um, do like a, like a, like a body scan and just check on kind of where you're tensing up or where you're, where you're feeling tight because of this situation or, or whatever. Um, and then think about why you're being, why you're being so taut, like, like why your muscle is so tight, like why are you flexing really hard? Um, what's making you, what's causing you to do that? Um, I think just becoming more aware is a, is a really, really important thing and something that I've gotten a lot better at doing. You know, I used to just ignore all of that, um, but, but these days I've been, I've been getting a lot better at just becoming more aware of um, how I'm feeling, why I'm feeling that way, what I'm feeling, um, and just kind of doing, like doing a little scan, like, like kind of checking in on myself, you know? Um, so I've been, I've been getting better at that. There's still obviously work to do. There's always work to do. Um, but I'm better at it. So that's something, um, something that I need to keep working on though. And something that probably a lot of men need to keep working on is just becoming more aware and just people in general too. This goes for, you know, men and women, women, men and women too. Men and women um, okay. I'm a little like, um, I feel like I'm under the gun right now. I'm kind of feeling like a little stressed, I think. Um, I've got things to do and I feel a little, a little under the gun. So taking a breather. Um, So I have play by my own rules and just try stuff. Um, I think that I was doing something today at work where I was hesitant to do something um, because I didn't trust myself or I, I was just doubting myself. And um, oh, here's what it was. It was I was making a face frame um, and it was a really skinny one, like a tinier, smaller one than usual. I didn't really know if I could fit two screws in this little tiny section. That does, that might not make any sense to you guys, I guess. Um, anyway, I was just questioning whether I could even do it, whether whether two screws could fit, um, and it worked. It ended up working totally perfectly. Like there was not even one issue. Um, the two two screws went in every time perfectly. Um, I just started, um, and so I guess the, the lesson for me there was. Um, 
don't be scared to just start trying things and just like go for it. Um, don't maybe don't be an idiot and just like do something stupid um, without thinking about it. But you know, if you've thought through it, you know, relatively uh, a little bit. I mean, I don't think you have to go too crazy with this. But I think that um, just kind of winging things and, and just going for it and making a, a confident decision that you know what I'm just gonna try. Um, I think that can can work pretty well. Like a lot of the times, a lot of the time. Um, so that's kind of my own lesson that I teach others, but I also need to work on that for me too, you know, um, cause I'm not, I'm not perfect at all. And I have lots to, lots to work on all the time. Um, that's one of those things is, you know, practice what I preach, um, and, and do the things that I am telling people to do, you know, and, and climbing, I always talk about how, um, you have so many options and just like start trying everything. Um, you don't have to be perfect and like get it on your first try, just try everything. And then eventually you'll find something almost always. Um, so I, I can apply that same lesson to me in my own life, um, in, in different little ways. That was just kind of one example there, I guess. Um, all right. So that's that moving right along. Um, okay. So this is interesting. So same, same guy, I think same podcast, um, he was talking about this whole masculinity thing again, and he was talking about how um, the there's this underhand free throw story, and it kind of just goes over how um, this guy had like a the best free throw percentage in the NBA in the league, um, like by a factor of twenty percent, like by a lot, um, and I'm letting things go right now. Thank you. Um, and he was just talking about how it people didn't do that. There's so there's normally people do um, uh, a free throw just normal like a shot, like overhand shot, like a normal basketball shot. Um, but he was talking about how per, the percentage of this guy was so good. You know, it was like 95% towards the end of his career um, doing the underhand, you know, granny style. And he was just talking about how. Um, he was like one of the only ones that even even tried it um, because everyone else was scared to look silly or look like a granny or look like a like a girl you know going underhand um, and there's a story about Wilt Chamberlain how he tried it for a season and he actually improved fairly significantly like he improved I think by 10% um, so he made however many more free throws that was and scored that many more points and became a, a technically a better player because he scored more points you know his percentages were better um, but so we tried it for a season, improved, and after that season, um, he he stopped doing it because he was he just got scared of he got he got tired of looking silly. He got tired of looking like a girl or a granny or whatever. Um, and I guess the the main the moral of that story, I guess, is just that that's dumb. Like you shouldn't you shouldn't um, you shouldn't make a decision based off of um, how other people might view you or or their perspectives on you. Um, because of because it might be a girly thing to do it doesn't really matter you scored more points that's that's the logical thing is, is do do whatever you can do to score more points for your team um, and it's the same metaphor you know in, in life is um, there's a, it can apply to many different things I think um, but anyway that was inter inter an interest an interesting story see I get, I get kind of flustered sometimes I get mad at myself when I can't speak as clearly as I want to I, I get too, my brain starts thinking too quickly and I can't, like my voice can't keep up and, it, and then I get mad at myself and it's like this weird cycle. So I just gotta like slow down, think about what I wanna say and say it clearly. Just that easy. All right. Um, I was thinking about today how I feel like I've done some pretty cool things in my life. Um, this this is totally random, totally separate. Um, but. I don't know, like I've, I've been traveling around the world a little bit, I've been skydiving, I flo flew a plane, I rode these, these UTVs, I feel like I've just like done a lot of cool things that I am kind of, I'm proud of, that I'm like happy that I did, you know? Like I've hiked um, a lot of miles in the Colorado Trail, um, I've just done some like, like backpacking, I've just done some fun things, you know, I've been climbing. I've just like done a lot of things that I really enjoy and there's these things on my bucket list that I have. Um, it's a whole, a whole pretty, pretty comprehensive list that I've made over the last, I don't know, couple of years, I guess maybe. Um, and I, I've knocked a lot of those things off, you know, I, I was talking to my dad about some of these things and he was just impressed that I 
that I just kind of make things happen. You know, I'm just like doing things that I enjoy and that I love. Um, and I'm doing it with people that I also love, you know, so it's kind of cool. I'm taking action on the things that I care about and the things that make me happy. Um, and I'm just, I'm just, I don't know. I, it just happens. You know, I, it just kind of gets manifested into reality. Um, and it's kind of cool, you know, cause I feel like a lot of people have these awesome thoughts and ideas on things that they want to do. Um, but they just don't happen. They just don't make a move on those things. And then they just kind of, that's, it just kind of fades into the ether of space and then nothing happens. Um, anyway, I was just thinking about how I'm, I'm just kind of proud and happy that I've, that I have done cool things in my life. You know, um, I don't want to start, I don't want to rant on all these, oh, I'm so cool, whatever, but, um, I don't know. I think it's pretty, I, I enjoy that about myself. So, um, I actually, that's it. And I've been at the, I'm at my gym now. So good timing. I'm going to get out of here and blow off some potential steam. Um, I will see you guys, I guess, tomorrow. All right, Roger out.